Gina coming at you with April 22nd's AMI work for literacy. We have a passage that is titled The Most Exciting Two Minutes in Sports. And now that is a pretty broad generalization. So we're going to have to read to see if this is true. Are these the two most exciting two minutes in sports? What are the two most exciting two minutes in sports? You might be asking yourself, hey, Gina, why is it already highlighted? Why is this woman wearing a fancy hat? What's going on here? There's arrows. Well, that's because I've already read this passage and started answering the questions in another video, and then I ruined it on accident. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Let's get through this passage super duper quickly so we can get to the questions. Make sure you are following along with me so we can learn about the most exciting two minutes in sports. There are a few sporting events that are as popular as the Kentucky Derby. Known as the most exciting two minutes in sports, our title, the Kentucky Derby is a race for three-year-old horses that lasts only two minutes. The track is only one and a quarter miles long. Although it takes only two minutes to run the race, it is steeped in culture, history, and traditions. The Kentucky Derby was started by Meriwether Lewis Clark Jr., grandson of William Clark of the Lewis and Clark Expedition. Meriwether traveled to England in 1872. There, he attended the Derby, a famous horse race that had been running in England since 1780. When he returned home to Kentucky, he raised money to build a facility where the Kentucky Derby could be run. It eventually became known as Churchill Downs. In 1875, a crowd of 10,000 people cheered as three-year-old Aristides, Aristides, who knows, won from among 14 other horses. The jockey, or the person who rode the horse, was Oliver Lewis. Every year since then, the race has been run. Horses who win the Kentucky Derby have a chance at the Triple Crown. The Triple Crown is awarded to any horse who wins the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont Stakes horse races, all in one year. The last Triple Crown winner was American Pharaoh in 2015. <laughs> Finally! In my last video, I could not pronounce that name. For the life of me, finally got it right. There had not been another Triple Crown winner since 1978. The fastest winning time ever was in 1973. A famous horse named Secretariat finished the race in 1 minute 59.4 seconds. Now, stop and think for a minute. This is a mile and a quarter long. So 1.25 miles. That means that horse ran a mile in just a little over a minute, which is insane to me. Actually, I'm not sure how long that is. You can do the math to find out. Secretariat's record has stood for over 40 years. The winning horse is draped with a garland of red roses. For this reason, the Kentucky Derby is sometimes called the Run for the Roses. This is one of the most romantic traditions in the sports world. The first garland was designed in 1932 by Grace Walker. Prior to that derby, roses were arranged in the shape of a horseshoe and presented to the winner. Today, the garland is created the day before the race by Kroger's Grocery Store Florists. The 10-hour process is a public event for all to see and appreciate. The 400 roses used in the garland are called Freedom Roses, named in honor of America's 9-11 heroes. The garland is 122 inches long, 22 inches wide, and weighs over 40 pounds. 40 pounds, that's two Frankies, two of my pugs. I can barely pick her up, so I couldn't imagine having 40 pounds of roses around my neck. A special rose is placed at the center to symbolize the struggle and heart necessary to reach the Kentucky Derby's winner's circle. In 2007, England's Queen Elizabeth II visited the United States. During her visit, she attended the Kentucky Derby. Workers at Churchill Downs were given special etiquette lessons and a special menu was prepared for the royal visit. In 2010, jockey Calvin Borrell set a new record. He was the first jockey to win three out of four consecutive Kentucky Derbies. Borrell's nickname is Bo Rail because he rides his horse close to the rail to save ground in the race. So, early in May, watch out for the Kentucky Derby. You won't want to miss the most exciting two minutes in sports. And we have a picture here of a cartoon lady with a fancy hat and a big old feather. The caption reads, many ladies who attend the race wear fancy hats with their spring dresses. 
The hats have wide, floppy brims and are adorned with flowers, ribbons, feathers, and other decorations. Whew, okay, now I read that super quickly. So we can get on to the questions. Number one, why does the author include the information in paragraph six? Paragraph six is all about them roses. A, to persuade people to attend the Kentucky Derby to see the Garland of Roses. Now, I have already have that marked out. Why? Because that's not the main purpose of this paragraph. He's not saying you have to go see the Kentucky Derby because these roses are amazing. B, to explain people's contributions to designing the Garland of Roses. <clears throat> this one we can also cross out because when you look back at the passage, yes, they mention the first person to design it and the fact that Kroger's now designs it, but that's not the main point. C, to explain an important tradition connected with the Kentucky Derby. If you remember in the passage, it is referred explicitly as the most romantic tradition in sports. That is why the author is including this information, to explain this romantic, important tradition. And D, to explain how the Garland of Roses can be won. We can automatically cross that out because that is not at all the main point. We know they're just won by the horse winning. Which sentence best shows that the jockey is important to winning the race? I have these sentences highlighted in our passage already. We have the jockey or the person who rode the horse was Oliver Lewis. B, the winning horse is draped with a garland of red roses. C, the last triple crown winner was American Pharaoh in 2015. And that last one, D, isn't even an exact sentence in the passage. Instead, we have um, Borel's nickname is Bow Rail because he rides his horse close to the rail to save ground in the race. So you can automatically mark out D. That's not even a sentence in here. Then looking back at our three other choices. Choice A is the only one that actually mentions the jockey. They explain to us in this sentence that the jockey is the person who rides the horse. Hence, why the jockey is important. B, the winning horse is draped with a garland of red roses. Doesn't tell us anything about the jockey. Who's the jockey? Why is he important? We don't know. And C, the last triple crown winner was American Pharaoh in 2015. Again, it's all about the horse, not learning anything about the jockey. For that reason, I chose A as the answer. In paragraph one, the word steeped means A, surrounded with B, delicious tea, C, against D, opposite of. I have all of those marked out. You might be asking yourself, though, Gina, how did you know? Is it because you know the definition of steeped? Yes and no. If you're ever in a situation where you don't know the definition of a word, look back at the sentence. You can get context clues and also just plug in the answers they give you and see which one makes the most sense. So let's try it with A. It is surrounded in culture, history, and traditions. Yeah, that makes sense. This There's a lot of culture, history, and traditions around this race. Or, it is delicious tea and culture? No. It is against culture? Uh, also no. Or is it opposite of culture? Again, no. So that is why I marked out B, C, and D, and our answer is A. Woo, we made it back to where I left off. Number four, based on the selection, what can the reader conclude about the people who become jockeys in the race? A, they love red roses. B, they have the best training in England. C, they're among the best horse jockeys. And D, they wear fancy hats to the race. If you remember that cute little picture of our cartoon lady, the women who attend the race wear the fancy hats, not the jockeys. A, they love red roses. Okay. The red roses are really important, but they're more for the horse and the symbolism of, hey, you just did all this work. You won. That's awesome. I doubt the jockeys are in it for the roses themselves. B, they have the best training in England. And C, they are among the best horse jockeys. Let's refer back to our passage. So, skim through here and let's see anything about England. They travel to England. Famous horse race. Anywhere in England? England, England, we're looking for you, England. We have England's Queen Elizabeth. Nothing in here does it say jockeys must have schooling in England to be the best. So, we know that B is incorrect. That leaves us with only one option. C, they're among the best horse jockeys. 
Now remember, the Kentucky Derby is a really important race. It's one of the cup thingy that I just forgot the word. What is that called? Triple crown, not a cup. I was thinking of the piston cup from um, cars. Oops. So this is a really important race. So the jockeys who get there must be among the best horse jockeys. Five, what did the details of paragraph seven explain about the Queen's visit? A, the Queen's favorite horse race is the Kentucky Derby. B, people treat the Queen with special traditions. C, the Queen enjoys wearing special hats to famous horse races. And D, the Queen thinks the Kentucky Derby is the most exciting two minutes in sports. Let's refer to paragraph seven. So, it says when she visited... And the workers were given special, that's the wrong color, workers were given special etiquette lessons and a special menu was prepared. So, nowhere does it mention that her favorite race is the Kentucky Derby, never does it talk about her hat, and it also doesn't say the queen thinks it's the exciting, most exciting two minutes in sports. What it does say, though, is that the workers had to be given special training and a menu for the Queen of England. So, B, people treat the Queen with special traditions. And last, but certainly not least, we have six. Which sentence presents an opinion? Something that the author believes, but is not a fact. A, the track is only one and a quarter miles long. That is a fact, my friend. You can go out there and you can measure it. It's one and a quarter mile long. In 2010, jockey Calvin Borrell set a new record. Again, that's a fact. It's been recorded. You can't say he didn't win it he, or he didn't set a new record because he did. C. For this reason, the Kentucky Derby is sometimes called the Run for the Roses. Again, no, that is a fact. It is called the Run for the Roses. Roses, And why? Because of all them roses. D, there are a few sporting events that are as popular as the Kentucky Derby. Now, this is an opinion. Because do I believe that the Kentucky Derby is super popular? Maybe I like football more. I don't. Maybe I like soccer more. Eh, I don't know. I don't really watch sports. But this is something that can change between person and person. So D is our correct answer. There you have it. That is April 22nd's literacy work. Don't forget to put your title on your paper. Boop, 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 boop. And that's all for now.